I'm gonna play a game, or make a parody, or maybe just a new video. It's Rivero. Let's play! My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. Wahaha! <laughs> What's going on, guys? Rivero here. Welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in Minecraft. We shall be going up Death Mountain. We have a new enemy. That's interesting. Hold on, let me try to respawn everything. There we go. We have a new enemy called the Tektite. That right there is an example of things just not quite working perfectly in this map. There's probably a way to fix it, the main thing being that the loading zone would be a longer time frame, which I kind of prefer not to have. There's very minimal effects from it other than that enemies might not spawn. Other than that, things pretty much work perfectly normal still. Here we have a new thing. It looks like a rock. Whoa! I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people on, who live on the Death Mountain. I love to put the in between any name of a place. <laughs> Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to Dodongo Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many of Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used the magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear a little more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. We shall go there now. This place has been remodeled many times. <laughs> it is a very big area with not much going on. We're going to ignore some of the NPCs. They just talk about some other stuff that we'll be attaining later. And watch out for this guy. He will damage you. <laughs> but yeah, they're... Not so much that there's been changes to this, but I've just been adding more and more as I've created the map. It started out without like this, that used to not be there. This was the last thing I included, which was just before the final release, this big wall showing Kakariko all the way down there. And yeah, here we are at Goron City. Goron City, home of the Gorons. Do I want to talk to you? You have a lot of text. <laughs> Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks, and the most delicious and nutritious rocks around here are found in Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat the rocks from anywhere else. <sighs> I want to eat the top sterling rocks from Dodongo's Cavern! Guys, you better be thankful for this. My walls are so not soundproof and I just feel like I'm ruining everyone's day by talking. <laughs> but besides that, we have a door over here with a green navi. You cannot talk to these. They just indicate that something is going on here. So if we play Zelda's lullaby, the door will open. And here is Darunia. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger and arrived. But you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the great boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this, his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry! Get out of my face! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have invested in Dodongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, blom, blom, bomb flowers, starvation and hunger because of the, sh or the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Okay. Whatever you say, bud. <laughs> oh, actually, we need something here. We have fire. Goron, make fire. So over here, we shall light this torch. That way we have light over here. And if we light all these torches, in the original, it makes this pot here spin. But it's kind of difficult to make that happen in Minecraft. So it just remains here. These torches do nothing unlike the original. Kind of goes into the thing where not everything's perfect, but you know. Anyways, if we bring a deco lit deco stick here by these bomb flowers, it'll light them up. And this is the shortcut to the Lost Woods I was talking about. Hey over here, hoo hoo! Rivero, good to see you again, listen to this, hoo hoo! After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the sacred forest meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. It's your tune. You should listen for that tune too. Hoo 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 hoo. If you were courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. First, fo just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming through the forest. Hoo hoo. 
Man, is it hard to speak fast or what? So the way what he was saying is that depending on which way you go, you will hear a sound. If you don't hear a sound, that is probably the wrong way. So we will follow this sound. This is actually an exception. There's a secret over here, which if we go into this little hole here, we have the forest stage. We are waiting to see your beautiful face. Ta-da! No? I thought it looked pretty good. Well, instead, we'll put on a dead person's face. That got a reaction. <gasps> Yay! It's a party! Do, 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 do. Yeah! This is. <laughs> we should talk about this. The Deku Scrub is like the most inaccurate model I created. <laughs> Especially considering there's like three different types of them, but eh, I like its style. All of the young Deku Scrub sworn brothers of. <laughs> sworn brothers? This isn't the Gorons. All the Deku Bro Scrub brothers agree. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem. As an offering from us, please accept these Deku sticks. We will also enhance your carrying skills. Abracadabra! Alakazam! Avadakadabra! Now you can pick up more Deku sticks. You can carry up to 20 of them. For a sec, I thought they took the mask and I was like, what? But no, we're good. Oh, I love this. So back when MC Edit was a thing and it did not work in the old, like new versions, uh, I managed to actually make a Kiri Forest jungle biome. However, it has these weird visual errors and I don't know why. They go away if you like relog or if you just like update things, but you know, oh well. Uh, I forgot something real quick. We have a bottled bug, and we're going to use this on the soil to get a gold skulltula. I get this later. I just decided to put this in now, so if anyone's following along, they don't forget this. Also, don't do what I did. You have no idea how many people have went into creative mode and then went into survival. It's adventure. You must go into adventure. Also, don't think I'm getting mad at anyone who does it. I'm just, like, I'm emphasizing it. That way people know and don't forget, so it doesn't happen in the future. We have made it to the Sacred Forest Meadow. We have a new enemy, the Wolfos. This guy's a little strange. He's not quite as accurate as the original, but it's the best I could do. He comes after you, and that's when he attacks, which leaves him vulnerable. And that's basically it. Or we can just keep spam attacking him at certain points, and he'll be vulnerable. Over here we have a blue rupee, and we will go through this little maze here. Has some Deku Scrubs. If we just sprint, we will not have to worry about them shooting Deku Sticks. Or Deku Seeds. But if you want to wait, you can. It works all the same. Over here, if we jump this perfectly, we didn't. That's upsetting. That's a speedrun strat right there. And we can climb up this ladder to reveal a fairy fountain. We have an empty bottle, so why not? And I don't want bugs. Do I want bugs? No, I don't want... Mm. <laughs> we'll keep the bugs for now, just in case. You never know. And out of the fairy fountain, we will continue through the sacred forest. We will continue through the sacred forest meadow, and up these stairs finally to meet Saria. I've been waiting for you, Rivero. This is the sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel. Me too. This place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. Oh, okay. Yeah, me too. Twinsies. If you play the ocarina with me, I can teach you a to talk with the spirits of the forest, or just you. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Okay, try to follow along with the melody. I'll play. Are you ready? Nah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> so you can actually crouch here outside of the barrier because I kind of messed that up. So if you just want to leave, go for it. <laughs> but we're gonna stay and play Saria's song. Great, great. Please don't forget the song. Do you promise? When you hear my want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. You learned Saria's song. So yeah, we can now talk to Saria as well as Navi. <laughs> Rivero, this is Saria. Can you hear me? I don't mind talking to you using the Ocarina's magic, but I'd really like to talk to you face to face. Impa said the spiritual stone of fire is somewhere on Death Mountain. So, now we have two people to talk to if we're lonely, I guess. I do have all the text options, but we probably will not be going through all of them. Woohoo! Did you learn an Ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. <laughs> if you learn the Ocarina where a melody is necessary, a new cutscene will start. I recommend that you play a song you know. I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed. Just like this, <laughs> which we can't actually do. We have to be playing an actual song, unfortunately. To view the list of melodies you learned, right click with the ocarina to open the ocarina of subscream and right click the song that we want to play. <laughs> that's a mouthful. And instead of continuing the story, let's do some more side quests because that's what everyone likes, right? Over here where we got the new slingshot bag, 
we have some skull kids. This is preferred to be in third person mode. They will play a song and you have to repeat it in the ocarina. Once you hear that ding sound, you can begin playing the ocarina and copying what they play. This is the most boring mini game ever. I wanted to change it, but just for accuracy sake, I kept it how it is in the original. But yes, it takes this long and you have to do it three times before you get the heart piece. So we're gonna be here a while. I don't have much else to say in the way of like, telling people how to do this correctly, other than just wait for the ding and that the music notes are always in the same locations as long as you don't move uh, beforehand. So like if you play here, obviously the first note that you have is right there. If you play here, the note's gonna be there. So I'm gonna do this two more times and then we'll get the heart piece. This is actually a really fun uh, mini game to create. <laughs> Albeit that it's really boring, but it was very fun to create because the notes are like all randomized and everything, so. A cool little challenge to create, programming-wise. And finally, we have the piece of heart. That is good. We are never doing that again. I actually feel really bad for one person who tried to do this because they had a double-click, like, issue with their mouse. They kept, like, choosing the wrong note every time they started playing. And I was like, man, just look down and it won't have to be difficult. But uh, I just felt bad. So, anyways. Next thing is over here. We have this Skull Kid here. And if we play Saria's Song, we will be given another heart piece. Let's see. We have two heart pieces now. And now that we have done that, we are friends with the Skull Kid, leading us to give him the Skull Mask. I don't know why I didn't realize that. The reason he wants the Skull Mask is because his name is Skull Kid. Skull Mask. Duh. Anyways, hee hee, under that mask. Aren't you the Kokiri Kid? Quite an unusual mask you have there. Hee hee, I like it. It may make me look a bit tougher. Yowza, I'm gonna wear this all the time. He just gave you 10 rupees for a 20 rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. What? Go back to the mask shop and pay 20 rupees for the mask. The difference will have to come out of your pocket. Great. It's not like money is basically useless anyways. And look at that, the bottled bug became handy. Every time there's a soil spot, aside from Zora's river, we can obtain a gold skulltula. Down over here, across the bridge that we used to leave uh, Hyrule Field, there's a business scrub over here. If we deflect this with our shield and convert our rupees real quick, we can get a Degusik upgrade. I don't have enough rupees. That sucks. <laughs> Money is basically useless anyways. Wow, I guess we forgot about this rupee. There's a rupee behind Mido's house, one time only. And then if we jump across these pads, we will get money again. There we go. And before we go get that Digger Step upgrade, we'll not use our fairy. We'll place a bug here to get another Skultula. There's literally gold Skultulas everywhere, so we're going to get another one from behind this know-it-all brother's house. And now that we're back at the business scrub, let's get that Deku Seed upgrade. We are now dirt poor, but we at least have 30 Deku Sticks. After that, we are ready to head back to Goron City. In we go. And now that we have a song learned, we will go to Darunia and make him happy. We go up to him and play Saria's song. And he dances! Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I'll let you guys witness this. Fun fact, or more irritating fact. Uh, there was a different version of the Lost Woods song that used to play over this, and when I made a better version, I realized that the tempo of the first version was incorrect. So Darunia dances not quite on tempo with the song. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot he has text. Whoa, yeah, yahoo, yeah! Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me, and I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. Let me get rid of those statistics. <laughs> I am Darunia. I am the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons rupee, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily, if you want it so badly. Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a small fellow like you can pick up a bond flower. Be walking by walking right up to it. You got the Goron's bracelet. Now you can pull up a bond flowers 
Now you can pull up bomb flowers, stand next to one and pull it up, then crouch to throw it. We now have the ability to use bombs. You can pick one up here and open the entrance to the shop, which is actually completely useless because they are out of bombs. <laughs> you got some red potion, I guess. Heals you eight hearts. <laughs> Technically, it's easier to get the bomb bag, which we don't have yet, but if you go over here to this bomb and throw it into the pot here, you will obtain a heart piece. And just like that, we just need one more and we will have another heart container. Outside of Goron City, back at Death Mountain, if we turn this corner over here to the right, there will be a bomb that we can throw to the bottom and open up Durango's Cavern. <gasps> There's another bean spot. <laughs> or soft soil, I guess. We don't know what beans are yet. Over here is another heart piece, and we now have six hearts. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in Minecraft, we will be traversing Dodongo's Cavern. See you guys then.